What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into it. So Tasha K got these uh secret recordings are easy to block. This dude, dumb as hell, man. This dude can't think the first, man. So I'm talking about this dude is straight up terrible. Man, it's over for you, bro. So she got these recordings of him. And his PR team and everything going behind Remy back to set her up to kiss and tell everything that they was doing for ten thousand dollars. So she released the recordings on her website, TashaK.com, and she got his PR person on record. She got him on record. She's showing all type of text messages and receipts. So it ain't no way they could get around this. Easy call himself trying to reach out to her, Tasha K, because she know that Remy and Papoose don't like Tasha K. They're going to show you just how much of a dirtbag he is. So he just knew she was going to jump on top of it and actually come out of her pocket to pay for the exclusive. And as a means of doing that, he really, really thought he had something going on. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It definitely over. I'm talking about it. at this point, if Remy's still dealing with him, she dumb as hell. Something wrong with that girl mentally. I'm talking about you just seen. She saw this. She heard this. Ain't no way to get around this. That dude was setting you up. That dude finna drop receipts on you and everything and give it to the highest bidder. You destroyed your family for this guy at the same time while he destroying you. The price of adultery. You looking bad, not in front of your celebrity friends. You can't even look them in their face. You can't even look them in their face eye to eye. I'm just keeping it real. You can't. Terrible. So many of your celebrity friends were just in disgust. They just couldn't believe. They couldn't believe you would be messing with easy to block Kevin. Uh, for allegedly sleeping with him because he's out here talking. And you can tell he likes to talk. Look at his mouth. Close your mouth and your teeth and your gums would heal. They couldn't believe it. They were disgusted believing you would be messing with somebody like this. Uh, doing a tell-all for your own benefit. She gave you a platform. Nobody would even know about you or be able to smell your breath. Put the picture back up again. If it wasn't for her wearing matching outfits with your ugly <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. So she recorded him. Let's listen, man. Let's listen to some of this recordings. Terrible. Uh, uh, I was contacted this morning at 3 o'clock in the morning from Easy, the blockchain's team. Yeah, I know it's the, the blockchain. blockchain. I think blockchain a lot easier since he, he out here trying to sleep his way to the top of legend. What's the difference yeah, of a man doing it? Up again, okay? Um, so, I got messages from everybody, okay? And so what I want you to do is hear the video receipts that I talked about on YouTube, okay? Not only did a PR team reach out and tell me that there is an offer on the table from Vlad for him to do a, a tell-all 10K interview, 
for ten thousand dollars. They want to see what I wanted to offer uh, for this possible excuse, uh, exclusive. He also wanted to put the exclusive on his YouTube channel and then give it to the highest bidder. Um, this was going to come with a confirmation. OK, and also uh, they definitely know each other. You're going to hear them confirm that and that. And so let's start with uh, part one. Part one is me talking to the, you know what, play it, and then I'll let you know. The wine is working, okay? I can't hear. So what? Okay, pause, 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 pause. pause. Okay, so this is the PR. This is Nicole, okay, Who whose statement we put out. This is me talking to her for the second time, okay? And this is after... No, this is before I reached out to Remy because I wanted to make sure that I had the receipt of her saying what she said because I just couldn't believe that somebody uh, would try to step on Remy like this after all she's done for their funky mouth ass, okay? So here's Easy the Block. Easy the Block, right? Yeah, Easy the Block, Captain. Hold on. Now, I don't agree with her on that part. Like, he can't believe. She can't believe that he would do that to Remy after all Remy did for him. Remy didn't do nothing for him. Remy did that for herself. I don't agree with that part. Remy didn't do nothing for him. She did all of this for herself. The house she bought him, she bought that for herself. So that, that would be the place she would be chilling with him at. Uh, uh, privately, secretly. The car she bought him had nothing to do with him, but that would be the car that she would be in. That was her getaway car. She wasn't doing nothing but Suge Knight and the nigga. You know how Suge Knight was giving Snoop them and Dre and Pac them all these houses and cars, but they was all here still. That's all she was doing. She didn't do nothing for him. She was doing all that for herself. The jewelry she bought him, that was for herself. So she wouldn't look bad with the guy. <clears throat> That's what it was. She wouldn't look bad with the guy. So she bought him all that stuff for herself so he could look good with her. So she couldn't look bad being out with him since they would measure him up to papoose so she tried to fix him up as much as she could got his damn mouth fixed put him in a nice car got him a nice house put some jewelry on him because she knew the backlash she was going to get from it so she trying to fix him up she didn't build the bear the damn nigga. that's what she did she built the bear the brother so I don't agree with that part, Tasha, at all. PR Nicole soliciting me to buy a tell-all interview on my platform that was responsible for putting out this so-called lie of a story. Let's go, Nicole. Um, the protection of my client and everybody involved. We want to make sure that we get this on his hmm. platform first. Remember, we talked about that. Then that devalues the product. No, I get that, but he has that right. I mean, he has that right, but yeah. like... So she just called Easy her client. That's very important because I want to show y'all some things to just expose this lie, to show how much of a fraud he is. So she just called Easy her client. So... I know. And we're not, we, can, we can go with that. We don't want to make it seem like it's any, anything undermining anybody or going behind anybody's back or anything of that nature. We just want him to be able to state his piece, and that's it. And he wants to be able to do that on his platform first. Do you want to, okay, so you're asking for exclusive prices, but you want to put it on his channel first? which is what he wants to do. Like, people have been offering us uh, the exclusive pricing, which we're willing to see what's out there, but the first things first is to make sure we take this statement on his platform. Okay, that's what I mean by how stupid he is. He reached out to Remy, he reached out to Remy enemy when it comes to media, as in Tasha K, because remember, Tasha K and Nicki Minaj, that's our girl. 
Remy came out dissing Nicki Minaj to get put on. It didn't work for her. It backfired. She been fighting her way up ever since. Tasha K now know that this is good for Nicki. Because even in her comments, the people in her comments like, yeah, send this to Nicki. I bet Nicki rolling on this. You know what I'm saying? So Tasha K doing damage control. Okay? So with that being said, when you listen to this and you see what's going on, this PR person, Nicole, who's saying that Easy is her client, she's saying that Easy wanted to take this and shop it around to people. Notice he's shopping it around to her enemy because he know that nine times out of ten, the enemy going to want this dirt. As a result of the enemy wanting the dirt, this idiot talking about he also want to put it on his platform. See, now he being greedy. So he want to release it on his platform first, then do an exclusive tell all on um other channel. So he looking, so he just looking how he gonna capitalize from every angle he can. And you know that this is being done by behind the scene by him because the PR is not gonna act on her own without getting specific details of what he wants her to what she want him to do i mean what he want her to do while being the spokesperson for him and shopping this confession around that's why she's able to give tasha k specific details like look he wants to drop it on his own platform first he wants to do a tell-all he I, i'm not trying to go behind nobody back so she basically letting it be known, I'm not going behind Easy Back. I'm not going behind the deal arrangement we had with Vlad TV. But I'm just telling you, if you want it, this the, this the going price. We already got a $10,000 offer. Can you beat that? So. How detailed will the statement be, though? Mm -hmm. How detailed will it be? Is it going to be a confirmed yes or no? Is it going to be a what now? Is it going to be a confirmed yes or no? Yeah, we'll get a confirmed yes or no. On that. He, he has the ability to make his own statement on what he wants to say. So yes or no will come out of this statement. Okay. And two, isn't Remy his manager though? Okay. This right here is what Tasha messed up at. This is what she messed up at. And, and she and she could have reeled this home and got actually a lot more juicy information, but her inexperience hurt her in this situation to the point where now you got the PR on guard as a result of you disapproving in the attempt to expose Remy that they was hoping you were going to embrace, which you was until you found out the price that they asking for is too much for you to buy. It's too much for you to buy. And rightfully so to some degree, to Tasha K, let's just keep it real. Rightfully so to some degree for Tasha K because of this reason right here. She got a million something subscribers. No matter when the story come out, she's going to do the numbers anyway because her supporters want to hear her break it down. So she she right to some degree. I'm not paying 10,000 for nothing. I'm gonna keep my 10,000. When you tell all, I'm just gonna say, I told you so. I've been saying this and she gonna get the numbers as though she did break the story because that's how much of a big following she got. But she could have got more juicy information and details out if she actually wasn't so much thinking about her vendetta against Vlad to just try to sabotage and make sure if I ain't going to get it, he ain't going to get it type stuff. You could have got a lot if you would have just played along and just manipulated the situation. Um, they work together with Battle Rap and it's just, as far as entertainment management, yes. See right there when she asks, ain't 
Remy, his manager, then the PR tried to create a distance between Easy and Remy. She like, well, just for battle rap purposes. This ain't got nothing to do with battle rap. So I'm free to do this. This is crazy. It makes it even more like bizarre. Right, right there. Now when Tasha K saying this, now it raises the suspicion and the guards of the PR person. What Tasha K should have did was played along and actually even made it sound more convincing. Like, oh, he offering you 10? Y'all want my price? Tell him I give him 30 or I give him 50,000. But I want to make sure that uh, 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 not only is he going to confirm the relationship that something actually went on, because I want to know what I'm buying. If I could give any affirm, uh, uh, affirmation of him doing that, then I give you 50,000, even though you're not going to give him 50,000. And I'm pretty sure the PR would be like, yes. Yes, he's going to tell you that and admit that too because she get a percentage of basically what she's shopping and doing on his command. Uh, you know, that's his manager. And he's he's shopping. He's shopping. To, I said, that makes it even more crazy. Like, that's his manager and he's shopping a tell-all. That's crazy. That's what makes it more... <sighs> See, now she on the defense. Now she on the defense because of what Tasha K said. When reality, the, the purpose of the call, the reason why they were reaching out to call you, because you Remy's enemy. They trying to throw you an alley-oop. You ain't got the money to pay for it. But you could have created your own story if you were smart to see what they was uh, on. You could have just created your own story and got, you probably could have got a lot out of that PR person if you threw some numbers around, even though you didn't even have to pay it. It's just the idea and thought of them believing you was going to pay it. They would have told you a lot of stuff. But now you got her on the defense by what you're saying showing how you disapprove and now she's saying oh this ain't nothing about you know to go against remy so you just messed everything up tasha you you this was very very elementary you missed this whole thing right here Stabbing somebody in the back or coming, you know, talking behind somebody's back, anything of that nature. The goal is just to make sure you can make your statements, peace out of it, and walk away with this and be done with it. That's it. So, key things that I want you to pay attention to this is a woman, this is something that e Easy and Nicole have both confirmed that they know each other and that they've worked with each other. I knew they were going to do that when I said that I had been on the phone with them for three hours, which I was combined. I didn't talk to Easy for three hours. I didn't talk to Nicole. I was talking to everybody. They didn't even know that I was communicating with Remy's team at the entire time. And that's why Easy, after I called him and he didn't answer the phone to confirm whether or not he knew this woman, he called back after I let Remy know because Remy called this motherfucker to say, what in the fuck is you doing? Huh? Play that. Yeah, I was just calling because I had a young lady reach out to me. She right. said she represents you. Her name is Nicole. You know? Now, this easy to block, Captain. Now, this all on the farm with easy to block. Now, watch what Easy say when she says, I was reaching out to you because this young lady reached out to me named Nicole, who says she represents you. You basically her client. She's your PR. Watch Easy response. Know her? I don't know if she does that, but she used to do some work for me like a couple years ago. She used to do some work for him a couple years ago. But she don't really represent me. So she doesn't have any authority to talk on your behalf to negotiate? Uh, no, she don't got no authority to talk on my behalf. 
So why would she be emailing me and, and talking to me saying that you that you want ten thousand dollars for an interview? Pause. 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 The word of the day is absurd. <laughs> absurd. So according to Easy, he ain't dealt with this woman in years. She did some business with him years ago. Years. Bird. Keep going. Another few years ago, so she was trying to get back into my good side. It wouldn't look like that, but I never even spoke to her about any of that. So I never even knew that none of that was even happening like, at all. I don't want to do no interview. I don't want 10,000. I don't know what 10,000 is. Well, she said it was already being filmed, though. Like, that was that was my thing, because I was just like, she said it was already being filmed. It was just put on. She said, oh, excuse me. She said, what's already being filmed? She said that this time, her, her first priority is to protect you and protect her client. She said she had authority to speak with you. I had verified that you guys follow each other and that she is actual PR. She also said that Blair reached out and offered 10000 She wanted to see what my bid was um, because the interview was going to go on your platform first because, you know, you want the views and things like that. And then you would do, uh, I guess, a separate standalone exclusive with whoever is willing to match Vlad TV's $10,000. Oh, now, yeah, those, are, was, those are very specific never, things. Though. She never got um. She never got any any verification from me to even reach out to you or Vlad. Um, I never spoke to her about that. Now she did reach out to me today, and I did tell her that when I'm ready to speak, I will go on my own platform. I did say that, so that is a confirmation. That's as far as that, as far as ten thousand. Now he's saying he hadn't spoken to her in years in the beginning so i spoke to her today and said that yes i wanted to put it on my own platform and she said that too that he wanted to put it on his own platform as well but they wanted to shop and you know what tasha k has been saying about this couple up here why would you have them call me keep going i don't even rat for ten thousand yeah. oh. he don't even rap for ten thousand so if the price right he don't rap for ten thousand he rap less than that he rap for less than that okay he probably just just got a good check his last two battles but before that he right he don't even rap for ten thousand he was getting paid less than that he's on the url seven year contract had two more years remaining no money guarantees Plus, he's still old, old money also. Now, let's look into something else, just for time's sake. Because that was easy talking. Now, let's look into some things. Shouts out to ADEP, too. That was on his channel. ADEP uh, covered that on his channel. Um, he go to Nicole, girl, who's supposed to be his manager. Remember, Easy said he haven't dealt with her in years. This is his trenching card two months ago. While, while she was actually not only attending, but she put this status up. She said, Nikki the coach. Shout out to my client. Same thing she said to Tasha K when Tasha K was just talking on the phone that Easy is her client. So she said, shout out to my client, Easy the Block Captain, for having me in the squad. For having me in the squad. Together to keep stakes for his upcoming battle, The Trenches, which also features my client, E Nest. 215. This is big for the city of Philadelphia. So Enes is also says here 
to be her client too. And according to her, she she also do business with Easy, and this her uploading the flyers and the tickets of the trenches that she was help pushing and promoting and marketing. When this liar just said he haven't he ain't deal bit he ain't did business with her in years. He don't know her. He ain't did business with her in years. And here it is. She uploaded the trenches that she was help pushing and promoting, and at the same time confirming that Easy is her client. So he clearly lied on that. Clearly lied on that. After she's possibly already lost her family, okay, and now you want to really come for her head. You see how opportun—they're just—they're just opportunists. They're opera fucking tunists. Like, and it, it doesn't matter. Like, what what you do for anybody, especially in this Hollywood space, they lie. Just like he lying about how his face is shaped right now with that beard, trying to create symmetry, and he lying about his gum and teeth health. Come on now, please. facts he a liar we always we all been saying that for the longest he a lying con artist he a backstabbing dude he very disloyal and it continued to just show over and over and over and over again and yeah he put himself in a bad situation man bad situation but I know it was looking good a couple of days ago. Not no more. Not no more at all. Because there's no way, no way possible, Remy in her right mind can stay dealing with this guy knowing what he did. That's just a fact. Real talk. Knowing what he did. The evidence is out here. All this is true. He set it up. They just got caught up, and now he's trying to clean out. Now they're trying to sweep up stuff. Now they're trying to clean things up. Too late. You can't do it. Too much of a mess out here. Too much of a mess out here. And you didn't drop so much. You don't even know where you dropped it at. So you got exposed bad by her, man. And you still don't even be getting it that you be recorded. And then you thinking you, bro, straight terrible, man. Thirsty. So she can't stay there. I know her family watching. I know her friends watching. Talking about Remy. And I know they like, girl, what is you doing? You not seeing this? You ain't seeing how this nigga been playing you for the longest. You thought you were playing him, but he started playing you back. A cross ain't nothing but a double cross. Ain't that something? You call yourself crossing him, he crossed you. You taking from him, he taking from you. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible.